Hi there and welcome to Thoughts My Car. My name's Carl. I'll be your host for the duration of the video, which this week comes from a different location. I'm not on the way to work or from work. Right now, I'm heading out to go get ice. Nikki and I are taking a long weekend break. It's Friday, June 13th, 2014. That means it's bike weekend in Port Dover. So what we have here, every Friday 13th, is a traditional get-together where everybody uh, turns up in excess of 200,000 motorbikes arrive here, land at a campground, or a bunch of campgrounds, we take over the whole city, every band has a bar, yeah that's about right actually, <laughs> every bar has a band, uh, cars are pretty much prohibited. But, we're nice people, we just drive in the middle of a bunch of bikers and say, hey guys, where do we put the tent? Uh, I'm heading out for ice right now, I'm going to get some gas. And I thought now would be a good time to make this video. So, here we are. The thing of which I have to be most careful is the police, because police are everywhere today. And of course, using a recording device while driving is not the best way to keep a clean license so I'm gonna be a little bit hazy about what I'm doing and what I'm recording here so uh, this is gonna be cutting backwards and forwards all good I'm about to hit traffic so I'll see you guys later should note there's an extensive police presence in Port Dover every Friday the 13th but the majority of it is simple traffic control. There's very little actual problems with the people that turn up here. They, they're self-policing. If there's a complaint they will jump on the guy or girl causing it and handle it themselves. They do this regularly, have done for years, they don't want it getting spoiled by some idiot. So um, they're very responsible people and this is one of the safest places to be for all the hairy bikers that there are around. It's, uh, it's a good place, it's a good vibe, it's a good event, and uh, you can meet some nice people here. Because the hard part of dealing with this, very slow traffic, and I'm almost out of gas. <whistles> Still, there's a bunch of bikers that'll push me out of the way if I get stuck, so uh, I don't have any problems, I don't think. Of course, one interesting aspect I haven't mentioned is that it's not all bikers here. It's quite a, a large contingent of just regular people like Nicky and myself. We don't own motorbikes, we just come for the vibe and the atmosphere and soak it all up. The, the bikes themselves, a lot of them have some extremely fantastic, imaginative, beautiful artwork. The, the paintwork on these things is amazing, custom art airbrushing. And it's, um, it's worth coming just for that. Of course, there's all the uh, other ancillary things, you can buy t-shirts and there are competitions to win motorbikes and whatever else. We just come to hang out with the crowd and there are a lot of people that do that. Uh, just regular people, families or kids, grandmothers, you name it, everybody's here. Uh, and no trouble. I'm not saying people don't get frustrated waiting in queues because there's some very big queues. Uh, a couple of years ago we went two hours for a coffee at Tim Hortons. Um, we were walking through the drive through there was a queue that big. But it was good, and uh, this really is a good, reliable, enjoyable, fun thing to do. And I'm going to get up a video right now before I run somebody over, because I'm a sensible person. Mm -hmm. downtown Port Dover, I'm grabbing some gas because I'm out, got to get some ice for the ice bucket as well, and uh, it's a zoo here, you couldn't get any more downtown than this, there's all kinds of vendors and uh, all kinds of wonderful things going on, putting bikes everywhere as you can hear, 
all fun. Anyway, off the phone again, back in a minute. Hi honey, I'm home. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah, that's true. And the parts of this event you can't get to in a car, motorcycles and pedestrians only, so. It's 6 p.m. here on the main street. We're just heading out. We're uh, gonna go oh, get fish and chip dinner. Hopefully before we get run over. And then tonight's going to be party with the bands and uh, all good fun. So this is the side that you don't see. It's dying down a little bit now. But it's all good fun. So. Uh, the bikes here are pretty damn awesome. Uh, so are some of the people. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye again. Bye for now. Say goodbye, Nikki. Bye. Hey Jack! <laughs> that's we'll the band. We'll Jack later. We will visit Jack later. That's the band. That's Captain Billy. He's not for seven. He can read. This is so starting to die down now. The hardcore guys are going to be staying over tonight. <laughs> All good. an interesting point that's worth making that most of the bikers here are my generation so the scary sons of anarchy kind of bikers are here but motorcycling has become a hobby for people with money uh, middle class it was do good jobs good solid regular income mortgages paid they're not the scary people that they used to be. They're regular people. Doctors, nurses, bankers, engineers, psychotherapists, you name it. They just happen to like bikes. They just happen to congregate here for the weekend. And it's good. This is a campground. This is where we're staying. And this is uh, run by the Lions Club. And tomorrow morning there's a farmer's market. We'll be having corn and we'll be having hot dogs and hamburgers. And we'll be just having a good old family time. Tonight is the party. 
tonight we'll be having the wild bands and the uh, rock music till the early hours. But there's something for everybody here. It's a good day out. All worth it. Anyway, that's enough for now. I'm going to say thanks for watching again. My name's been Carl, and uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Hope to see you next time. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. We'll catch you next time. And until then, bye for now.